everyone Lisa here aka Crafting Diva thank you for stopping by again today and I've got a set of two brand new videos for you featuring some brand new products I've just been sent from craftstash.co.uk they're from the Crafty Potential range this is a range of products designed by our fellow design team member Christina uh, the products consist of gorgeous um, clear rubber stamps and die sets the products I've got is a Crafty Essential Collection A2 Stitch Rectangle Fleur de Lis die set this consists of eight thin metal dies these are really versatile dies because not only do they have the lovely stitch design to them they also feature dies that cut into your cardstock and dies that cut out of your cardstock so as you can see I've cut them here so you can see a bit easier and also the great thing about this die set is you can go on and make your own frames using them and they have the nice stitch detail to them and you also can cut out your elements for matte and layer parts so that's the die set then I was also sent two of the stamp sets these are A5 in start size I've got the Woodland Friends A5 stamp set this contains 15 stamps really top quality and they've got a nice thick outline to the uh, animal stamps so they're really perfect for doing all your colouring techniques so this one features a deer, a squirrel, fox, bird in the tree and some nice sentiments like to a crafty friend, have a tweet birthday friends make life bearable and then the other stamp set I've got is the Perfect Pets A5 stamp set. This consists of 22 stamps and it's got a brilliant little horse that you can turn into a unicorn, a nice dinosaur, a little rabbit and then again nice sentiments like racing by to say hello, have a rawsome day. So really nice versatile stamp sets with some brilliant sentiments to them. So for today's video I thought I'd start off by showing you how I colour and cut some of my images just to give you a few tips. So like I say to start off with I take my stamp sets and I stamp lots of the different images like so and then once I've got quite a few stamped out I decide which one I want to colour. I'm going to do the fox to show you and to make a nice fox colour I'm going to use these two Copic pens I've got YR4 and R05 sorry and this is how I normally do my colouring um, first of all I take my nice orange colour and put a little bit of that down for a base and then what I do is take some of the nice red and start adding some of that and you think oh dear that's not going to blend but once you start doing some circular motions with your Copic pens, it all starts to blend in together. And before you know it, once the alcohol's dried, you get a lovely blended feel to your image. So I go on and start doing some of the fox body, adding some of the orange colour just to put a bit of a base colour down. And then we want to start bringing in some of the red again you think oh this looks very bright how's this going to start blending in together but again once you start doing your circular motions it all starts to blend in together and this is the advantage of using Copic pens or any type of alcohol pen you can really get some lovely blended effects to your images so we go on like this it does take a little bit of time to get your colors to blend sometimes it's good to do a bit walk away come back and then have a look if you're happy with the result if not you can still carry on blending until you get the effect you like as you can see we're starting to get it and for the uh, actual white areas that I want to leave white I always add a little bit of a grey pen just to make the white areas stand out a little bit better so once you've done that and you're happy with all the colouring and it's all blending nicely you end up with a lovely little fox like this all blended and really stands out so that's the little fox uh, for a little rabbit if you'd like just a grey rabbit what I usually do is just go around the edges with a pale grey this is good for a grey rabbit or if you'd like it to be a white rabbit just makes the image stand out better so I just go around the edges like so and then I just get a shade darker this is a C3 and I just start adding a bit more 
of the darker grey just to make the little rabbit stand out. It's a really quick way to get a grey stroke white rabbit <coughs> like so. So once you have all your little images coloured and you're happy with them you can go on and make your cards. So for today's card I thought I'd start off by showing you how we can make this really cute little thanks to a crafty friend stepper card. So to make this card what I started off with, with obviously was a stepper uh, plain card blank and then I've made myself some little panels out of yellow and blue cardstock and I've used the um, a, a scallop nesty and I've used the oval die from the die set, cut the centre out and then I've made these panels by using the cutting in die from the die set which is this little die here I've placed it through, run it through my die cutting machine three times and as you can see it gives you this lovely cut in design so once we've done that I've gone on and obviously coloured all my nice images and we want to start layering our images up so I've got a nice deer I've done a nice little fox nice little grey stroke white rabbit then I took the thanks die I've die cutted that twice in blue and black and gave it a bit of a shadow and we want to stick that to the bottom panel of our stepper card then I've made myself two little toadstools and done a bit of 3D and added some gloss to those like so. Just want to put some 3D foam on the back of those and stick those to the bottom edge. And then for the finishing touch I just stamped the message to a crafty friend and we want to stick that to the side of our design. And as you can see it makes a lovely little stepper card featuring the animals and the die. Once you have your dies and your stamps you can go on and make any design you like. I also made this really cute little scene. I made this by using a circle stitched larger um, apple blossom die. Then I've made a little black frame, added some little gems and again made a little scene with the deer the rabbits and made some little grass and I think that's a really sweet little circle spring card so the products I used to make both these cards were from the crafty potential range and it was the perfect pets a5 stamp set the woodland friends a5 stamp set and the uh, a2 stitch rectangles flirtily die set really hope you enjoyed this video please watch out for video number two where i'll be using more of the pets uh, stamp set would love to read any of your comments and hope to see you again soon bye for now